Hey, welcome back to the channel. Please remember that while I did work as a dealership master technician for 17 years, I'm currently in no way affiliated with any automotive manufacturer. All opinions expressed are my own and any and all trademarks are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the hybrid inverter system coolant on this 2024 Toyota Prius. Start by opening the hood. Remove the cap uh, for the <clears throat> inverter coolant tank. Don't do it when the engine's really hot. I mean, I never see this coolant very hot, but uh, there is a warning that uh, if it is hot, it may splash out and burn you. Either drive the front wheels of the vehicle onto ramps or lift the front of it up. Toyota does provide you with a lift point in the front, but it's really difficult to access in the center of the vehicle. Um, I always lift it up by the pinch welds right here. So you have this reinforced section and uh, make sure to put jack stands under it. Uh, don't just work on it supported by a jack because those can collapse and uh, get you badly hurt or killed. Well, the single front lift point that they provide is this big bolt right here, but it's so deep under the vehicle. I can't see how almost any jack can reach there. So that's why I lifted by the pinch welds on the unibody on the sides. Now you need to get this shield off. You don't technically have to remove the whole shield. You need to just access uh, the one corner of it, but I'll take the whole thing off so that uh, we can see what things look like underneath there. Um, it's pretty stiff, so if you just remove a corner of it, it's kind of hard to bend it out of the way also. So you have uh, a number of clips around the edge of it here. And you just use a trim removal tool or a flat blade screwdriver to uh, pick them up and uh, pull them off a bit. Okay. And now you have uh, four 10 millimeter head uh, bolts to take out. And now you can uh, pull the shield out in this direction. The inverted coolant drain plug is located right there. So it's uh, the drain and it's pointing sideways. So you'll need to install a piece of hose on it to direct the coolant downwards. It's a 5 16 diameter. Sometimes you can get a thinner hose on it if it's pliable enough, but uh, 5 16 is uh, what fits perfectly on there. And then get the other end of it into a suitable drain container. Now you can open the valve and uh, let all the coolant drain out. A little bit of it is dripping past the threads. You can close it usually just enough that it doesn't drip from the threads, but uh, drains out of the hose. If not, just make sure your container is sitting underneath so that it catches those drips. And now wait uh, until the coolant stops draining completely. Once the coolant stops draining, you can close the drain and remove the hose. Now the total amount in the system the spec is about uh, one and a half liters or quarts but in my experience you'll only be able to drain about one quart out of it that's about it okay make sure it's nice and snug now let's reinstall this uh, splash shield cover you just need to get it under the front shield Okay, slide it under like this and then go ahead and uh, reinstall all the clips that were previously removed.
Now get the four bolts in. The torque spec on them is uh, very light. It's 66 inch pounds. So don't uh, overdo it when you're tightening them. I mean, you don't need to use really a torque wrench on these ones, but uh, just don't go crazy on them. You can just double check them with a little wrench. All right, that's good. Install a funnel in the um, inverter coolant tank and then uh, refill with uh, genuine Toyota coolant. So depending on uh, your area, you may either get the 55-45 or 50-50 mix. Here in Canada, it's a little more concentrated because it's really cold here. And then uh, start filling it up nice and slow. And uh, you can fill it up full. So you can check for links below the video in the video description for where to buy the coolant. And the replacement interval on this from Toyota is um, 150,000 miles for the first time and then every 50,000 miles thereafter. Okay, now that it's full, we're gonna start the, uh, the vehicle. You don't have to actually run the engine because the inverter pump will run whenever ready mode is on. So just uh, put it in ready mode like you would start it normally and then you will see that the coolant level is going to go down so you want to keep topping it up um, until it settles uh, between the minimum and maximum mark it's beeping because I have the keys in my pocket Okay, so the pump is running and now we'll just uh, keep topping it up little by little. Okay, so it's the, at the max mark right now, which is right here. So now just uh, let it circulate for a while. And how you know that it's uh, fully bled is that the coolant pump is nice and quiet and the level is not dropping anymore. You don't hear any bubbles and stuff like that circulating through the system. Well, the pump is quiet and all I hear is just coolant running around. So that's good. And uh, we're right at the, uh, right at the max mark there. You can see it right here. So now we can shut the engine off and uh, finish the job. Okay, we we'll turn the ignition off, get the funnel out and close the cap. And now uh, just check the level after you drive it a couple of times, make sure it hasn't gone down anymore, but it should be good right at the max mark. And there you go. Inverter coolant replacement is completed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Toyota Prius maintenance and repair videos. See you next time. Cheers.